Hi guys, this is Paul with Tweak Town. We're here at Stores Visions 2014, and right now we're sitting down with Radislav Danilak. He's the CEO with Skyera. Skyera is a company that is primarily one of your main goals is to bring flash solutions into price parity with hard disk drives to where it's a similar price. How do you feel that you guys go about trying to achieve that? So. <clears throat> To, to clarify that, what we are saying that we are bringing price parity is this based storage systems. Um, we are not bringing argument that, you know, a low cost uh, 5 cents per gigabyte hard drive the SSD will replace, but the game is very different on the system level. Uh, let me give you an example. You can buy storage systems from, for example, NetApp between dollar to two dollars per gigabyte. Uh, then you have to format it. So uh, you lose some capacity on the RAID and uh, you need some space for uh, journal-based systems. So typically what you pay for the data which you are storing is uh, between dollar to two dollars per gigabyte on the storage system. Now, our solution, what we brought during Flash Memory Summit, we unveiled uh, what we call Sky Eagle, uh, brings uh, before compression and duplication cost per gigabyte below two dollars per gigabyte. So it's between dollar to two dollars per gigabyte. Now, if you deploy compression deduplication and you can pick some reasonable numbers like five to one, this gives you less than 50 cents per gigabyte effective capacity. Uh, so, you know, many display systems, they don't use compression uh, deduplication because it's reducing already a low performance of this base storage system. In fact, many systems, they don't recommend to use that because, uh, you know, performance impact. So if you compare uh, effective cost per gigabyte is below uh, disk based storage systems, not uh, disk versus flash, and if you compare before compression dedupe, it's at price parity. And when you guys have these rack mount solutions with a lot of flash inside, what's the maximum densities that, that you guys are getting with Sky Eagle right now? So with Sky Eagle, uh, we showed during Flash Memory Summit uh, 250 terabyte after the RAID, but before compression deduplication. And uh, we have a prototype uh, 500 terabyte system, which is using flash, which is not yet qualified. We expect the flash, which is used in 500 terabyte system, will be qualified sometimes in Q2 or Q3 this year. So um, this year we are at a half petabyte, and uh, you know we have large room to continue growing capacity. And you guys are also using some of the most advanced MLC NAND. You're not using SLC, which helps kind of control the price. And you guys are also using 16 nanometer NAND. How, is, how does this fit into the picture of, from a power consumption standpoint of your solution compared to a disk-based system? So during Flash Memory Summit with our partners, uh, we jointly announced uh, with uh, SK Hynix uh, that we are using uh, working with them using 16 nanometer flash. Also, we have a joint announcement with Toshiba, uh, their 120 gigabit 1Y technology or uh, A19A device, how they call it. Uh, so, using most advanced flash is effectively essential to get uh, price parity. The SLC flash is five to six times more expensive than most advanced flash, and we will end up with solutions which are at premium cost, 10 to 20 dollars per gigabyte, which are niche solutions. They are they have limited market. To really, you know, get mainstream adoption, it has to be comparable price. I will give you analogy. When um, big LCD uh, TV was costing as much as a car, you know, there were very few in every city. When it becomes less than two times more expensive than CRT, the CRT just disappear over two years. Absolutely. So the, it has to be priced uh, within striking distance, and that's the essence for mainstream adoption. And w one thing that a lot of people that we speak with on the enterprise side, when they're looking at buying single SSDs, RAID cards, and a number of solutions in order to deploy that flash into the server, there can be some confusion and there's a lot of management involved um, that requires some IT time. With your your type of solution, your how does that work? Do you guys you guys totally manage that, correct? So basically, you know, if you look even on existing today's storage systems, you have kind of two 
solution. You have disk storage systems or array, which is majority of the market. And then you have server-based uh, storage, which is minority of the market. It's less than 20% of the storage market. And the reason is the storage base, uh, which is in server, is cheaper. You just buy the card and SSD, and it's cheaper to build. However, you are paying on the management side. It's harder to deploy, moving data around, and so on. Now, that's why the storage systems today, majority of solutions are, are arrays where all the storage is centralized and attached uh, to, to many servers. So our uh, flash-based storage system is array-based solution, shared storage. Uh, basically, while the capital expenditure of cost of buying shared-based storage system is higher, the OPEX, the, sh the managing data, is much lower. So overall, they are more cost-effective, and that's why they are dominating today market. It's not for it's for reason that they are dominating market because overall cost and efficiency is better than uh, distributed or server-based storage. You know, if you look 20 years ago, there was pretty much no storage arrays. There was pretty much uh, server-based storage, and we grew from zero to majority of the market for reasons. Absolutely, and, and that allows you to provide acceleration for a number of different servers at the same time. So you can deploy one, one, one of your solutions into a rack and effectively accelerate that rack of, of servers to a much higher speed. Can you guys give us some numbers on what kind of speeds your systems provide? So basically, uh, we show uh, during Flash Memory Summit uh, that uh, Sky Eagle is capable up to 5 million IOPS. Wow. And uh, this means 20 gigabyte per second. It has 16, 16 gigabit fiber channel ports, so quarter terabit on, in each direction on the connectivity side. So it provides a plenty bandwidth, and you can attach a couple, 10 to even 100 servers uh, to one centralized system. So if your servers goes down, crashes, you know, another server can, can take over, or the server is overloaded, another server can pick up and work with that storage traffic. So that also provides some high, availabil high, avail high, high availability features in your servers as well, correct? Uh, it's basically necessary and required. You know, today customers, when they try to deploy a flash-based storage system to replace some disk-based storage system, they expect very similar services, similar capability, and uh, we, we are we have to provide and we are providing the same capabilities. It's necessary. Customer expects that if you did not have that, customer will be not buying. Absolutely. And you guys are enjoying some great success right now. I know you guys are growing at a fairly fast rate. So expect to see more news from Skyera and announcements as the year progresses. We'd like to thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. much.